Ojo. I made it. What? Ah, oh, it's bogus. Tough enough to track down the man I'm hunting. Everything I know is in that logbook. I'd find him myself if I had the money to get back on the waves. But for now, I'm just another landlubber selling tours. Ah, Captain Capsize. I see you've already settled in and started making friends. I don't want friends. But I want someone willing to drag that pirate pretender back to reality. Then he can have a long and meaningful conversation with the sole of my boot. Which won't happen unless you take the time to explain our situation. A while ago, I invited a pirate named Guy Brush Threepwood and his wife Elaine to celebrate their honeymoon here on the Sea of Thieves. You mean a fraud named Guy Brush Threepwood? Though I'd also accept liar, imposter, figurehead thief. Guy Brush accepted my invitation, but his ship never arrived. After a while, I began to fear the worst. So I began making inquiries in the Sea of the Damned. And found me stuck there, sailing in circles in my old glass-bottomed boat. Something that looked like it anyway. A memory of yours made real by the Sea of the Damned. In that realm, people and places from long ago can come back to haunt you, mingling with all the hopes and dreams in your heart. I fear that Guybrush has become trapped in memories of his own. Memories of a distant pirate sanctuary known as Melee Island. If he is not rescued, he will remain sealed in a dream world for all eternity, surrounded by fragments of his past. That is why I have asked Kate to recruit pirates who are both willing and able to broach the Sea of the Damned and save Guybrush. And then everybody here will see what a pathetic dope he really is. It's a good plan. Think they can pull it off? I believe they can. Kate learned of Guy Brush's whereabouts, but was never able to reach him. You will be sailing into uncharted territory. On Melee Island, Things may be very different from the Sea of Thieves you know. Which is why you should take my logbook. But don't lose it. Once Threepwood has been rescued, I'm going to make him eat every last page. You should keep an open mind, Kate. Out here, enemies can enter the same tavern and depart as friends. 
When it comes to Guybrush Threeport, I don't need an open mind. Only a closed fist. Well, don't just stand there. Sail through that archway and find Threepwood. The logbook I gave you has everything you need to know. Dear Diary, wow, what an incredible end to an amazing adventure. I outwitted the evil pirate LeChuck, crossed an avalanche, kinda, and lived to tell the tale. Even better, Elaine and I finally got married, and all of our friends were there too. I don't think we've ever been happier. Now all we have to do is set a course and begin our honeymoon, sailing on the Sea of Thieves. To get there, we have to pass through the Devil's Shroud. And Elaine says it's no big deal so long as we follow the map, but I don't know. I miss seeing the stars. I had the nightmare again. I wake up in our cabin. Elaine is gone. And at the end of my bed, LeChuck is there, laughing at me. It's crazy, I know. I left him buried back on Monkey Island, but why does it feel so real? I can almost hear the laughter. When I did get back to sleep, I had a very different dream. I was back where it all began, on my quest to become a legendary pirate. Back at the start of my very first adventure. Mele Island. down. This is my kind of bar. Ahoy there, stranger. New in town? What is this place exactly? <laughs> That's the stupidest question I've ever heard. Humor me. Why, this is the world-famous Melee Island, of course. Home to some of the filthiest rogues and rascals Trademark. you'll ever cross paths with. Though if I were you, I'd not stray too far beyond the village. The weather's taking an awful turn tonight. A stranger could get lost in that pea soup. 
what's in the village? Oh, plenty of places to spend your pieces of eight. Though I'd wager most will be closed at this hour. Except maybe the general store. That old skinflint never sleeps. Then there's the old jail, the church. But if you ask me, there's nowhere better than this very pub. Why not sit for a spell and soak it all in? Are you a pirate? Do you have a crew? Well, I am a pirate, but alas, I am not a captain. Truth be told, I haven't been out on the waves for many a month. It all began when that LeChuck business forced us back to shore. Who's LeChuck? Once, he was the terror of the Caribbean, roaming the seas on his fearsome ghost ship until he was scuppered by the legend of Monkey Island. Trademark. What? <laughs> What's the legend of Monkey Island? Oh, not what. Who? I'm talking about the most fearless felon to ever don a captain's hat and sail straight into the waiting maw of death itself. Guybrush Threepwood. Once we heard what had happened to LeChuck, most of us pirates chose to retire. There's no point trying to compete with the legend of Monkey Island. Hey, Mark. Who's in charge here? Our governor is none other than the legend of Monkey Island Trademark. himself. <laughs> he keeps this whole area prosperous for his fellow pirates. His mansion is on the other side of town, but pirates aren't as welcome around there as they used to be. Why is that? Because the governor's a busy man, that's why. Caught up writing his memoirs. It's the most pre-ordered book ever published on Melee Island. Trademark. Come to think of it, it's also the first book ever published on Melee Island. Trademark. But that just makes it even more exciting. I'm buying nine copies. You should talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. If you're to stand any chance of seeing the governor, they can tell you where to go and what to do. So what's your name, anyway? My name is Mancum Seapwood. Ever been to the Sea of Thieves, Mancum? The what of who? Never heard of it. No, I've sailed as far as Dinky Island. Trademark. But Melee Island Trademark. is a place to be nowadays. Thanks to the governor. Now that you're here, you should relax and take a load off. Uh-oh. Looks like my grog is going flat. So you'll have to excuse me. Frog isn't supposed to be fizzy. Maybe not on this sea of thieves you're so proud of. But in these parts, we prefer a beverage with a little extra kick to it. Kerosene, red dye number two. If you're brave enough to try some for yourself, we usually sneak ours out of the big barrel in the kitchen. You can join us in a toast to the legend of Monkey Island. Trademark. What are you looking at me for? I'd like to introduce myself. I think you just did. So what brings you to my table? Actually, I'm looking for someone. Oh, I bet I can guess who. All the tourists these days, they only want to speak to one man. Well, too bad for you. The governor is a busy fellow. He's got to protect this whole island. You could try and make an appointment with one of his guards, but I wouldn't recommend it. The same, this place seems pretty lively. This is actually a quiet night. Business is booming ever since the legend of Monkey Island returned. 
Most days you cannot move for people telling stories, singing shanties, or writing questionable poetry about Governor Guybrush. What did he do that was so amazing? <laughs> Listen, if I get started, we will be here for hours. All you need to know about the governor is that he is the greatest pirate who ever lived. Crews come from all across the Caribbean just for a chance of meeting the legend of Monkey Island. And most of them end up here. If you want to know more, there is a guy selling books in town. But you'll need more pieces of eight than most folks can afford. Ever hear of the Sea of Thieves? Hmm. This does not sound like somewhere I have been. I mostly stick to the Tri Island area. Been pretty much everywhere around these parts. Well, almost everywhere. They say you cannot get to Monkey Island just by charting a course. Unless, maybe, you're the governor. What if I told you this wasn't really the Caribbean? I would say you probably hit your head on the door when you walked in. It does not matter where you're from. Nobody here will respect you unless the governor respects you. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. Where can I get a drink? A drink? Well, you could wait for the cook to notice you, but that could take all day. He has been rushed off his feet ever since word got out about the legend of Monkey Island and his pirate wannabes started flooding into town. He is convinced if he can find the right combination of ingredients, he can create a signature dish so delicious the governor will officially endorse it. Well, I heard he'd hired an assistant, but they never showed up for work. They are probably hiding after setting fire to a whole cargo ship. Anyway, if you want grog, just find a mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. Right. Hey. Okay. Is that fresh meat I spy? Tremble, mortal, before the mighty skulls of scum. It's been longer than a rat's tail since I last set me sockets on a wooden pirate. Only. Though I could swear we've crossed paths before. But never mind all that. You'll be here to undertake the three trials, I'll wager. The three trials! Why, <laughs> <laughs> that takes me back. I want to be a mighty pirate. Where do I collect me hat? Well, if you're here to prove your worth to us, too bad. We're no longer in charge around here. Hey, you shouldn't be back free. here. There's not a pirate one of Yeah, in the barrel. But don't think you can just go helping yourself. I got a batch of it in stock in case the legend of Monkey Island ever stops by for it. You need a strong stomach for this stuff. Or you'll... Because it's the rule. Oh, um... I want something fiery. Too bad I'm still missing one of... Meat stew. Sure enough, she told me to... Don't know why. Can't help you there. You don't know what the del course it matters. As soon as they arrive...
back again? You're persistent, I'll give you that. What? Where's the governor's mansion? Decided to chance your luck with the governor's guards, eh? Well, you can't miss the place. Head up through town and through the archway below the clock tower to find a cliffside path that'll take you straight to the governor's doorstep. Seems easy enough to find. You might think so. But the fact of the matter is that the guards will turn you away unless you've got an official invitation. Now, I don't know where you'd go about acquiring such a thing, but there's one particular citizen whose specialty is finding what you need. Okay. Uh... You mean purveyors of tea, silks, that sort of thing? We don't allow them to operate here on Melee. The pirates gotta eat, though, so we do take in shipments of goods from other islands. One of them sank at the docks just the other day, in fact. And then they're sold in stores? Ha! What do I look like, a merchant? All I know is the governor keeps this place running just fine. We're never wanted for supplies. If you're peckish and low on funds, you could always find a fishing rod. See if you can't catch some supper that way. How'd you get to be in charge? Each of us underwent the three trials way back when and became mighty pirates when it was still possible for mere mortals to succeed. But since you ask, I'll let you in on a little secret. The trick of being in charge is to make yourself look important. That's why we took the best table in the house for ourselves and lined ourselves up here, all official like. Well, there's it? no need to be like that about it. There's plenty of other pirates who wish they thought of it first. Ah, pay him no heed or he'll talk your ear off all night. Claims to hail from somewhere called Sailor's Grave, wherever that may be. That doesn't bother you? Only when he starts up with a shanty. I never heard such a tuneless, talentless assault against the performing arts. He claims it's the best he can do on account of lacking a full set of vocal cords. But if you ask me, he's just doing it for the attention. Right. Business do you have with us now? Speak up, be quick about it. Who are you, Pegs? I am Murray, the demonic talking skull. All oh, pirates hear my name and tremble. Ha! Pay no attention to that blowhard. He left his marauding days behind, along with his body. At least I can remember my own name, not like some other skulls I could mention. And one day I shall return to the waves to unleash a new reign of chaos. Sure you will. But for now, we provide what you might call the in-house entertainment. What kind of entertainment? Telling jokes, hurling vile insults at pirate wannabes, and enthralling folks with tales of skullduggery and misdeeds. I'm just here for the insults. You stink, ugly. <laughs> We're still workshopping some of our material. This whole town seems obsessed with the government. Aye, that they be. They've got their own pirate lord nowadays. And his name is Governor Guybrush. Uh, I told you not to use his name. It gives me a toothache. Okay, maybe not the whole town. You'll have to forgive Murray. He and the governor had a falling out a while back. Something to do with a missing arm. Missing? It was an act of theft and wanton dismemberment. And one day, I shall exact my demonic vengeance. You want revenge on Guy, the governor? Of course. These gullible fools may think of him as a legend, but I am not deceived. I have spent years plotting my retribution. However, the customers and I have formed an eternal bond. They will never let me leave 
Not unless someone can provide a replacement. Hmm. Hey, you leave that skull alone. He's got a job to do. Hey, you shouldn't be back here. Can't help you there. Don't know what the delay is all about. Or sit mad as soon as they arrive. Because it's the rules that... Oh, um, right. Well, I guess you can look around. I want something fiery. Too bad I'm still missing... <laughs> Okay. Sorry, but these items here, they're display models, not for sale. You only have display models? Hey, it's not my fault these Legend of Monkey Island action figures are hot property. My latest shipment got sunk down at the docks just as it arrived. I'm trying to meet that legend. Oh, then you need an exclusive Legend of Monkey Island meet and greet ticket. One of which I just so happen to have. Only one in existence. But I can tell just by looking at you that you can't afford such a sought after item. Maybe we can work out some kind of deal. Okay. Tell you what, if you can bring me my missing cargo, I'll not only give you the ticket free of charge, I'll be able to sell you some other mementos. Deal? Deal. Now, get going. Right. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think so, stranger. You say all is that map shop no more, and that means it's off limits to the likes of you. Gubernatorial guards only. And since I don't see no uniform, and you also look like you're alive, I'm thinking that means you ain't exactly a guard. So sing your hook! How do we... Whoa! Should be easy enough. So it's hooked. Now what?
Now we should be able to lift it. Ah. Now we swing it around. Tool required. This must be the tool I need. There it is. To citizen of melee. Hey, that's my cargo. I thought it'd be fish food by now. Looks like I'm back in business. This meet and greet ticket will get you an audience with the legend of Monkey Island. Only one in existence, but I'd say you've earned it. And where do you think you're? I am here to see. I have a meet and greet right ticket right here. Oh, yeah. Let me see that. Uh, seems genuine. Funny. I thought we'd gotten rid. Uh, but only one thing for it. There. I booked you in for the next available session. Come back and speak to my colleague after the clock strikes midnight. Okay, I'll come back after midnight. <laughs> like that'll happen anytime soon. That clock tower hasn't worked in years. <laughs> yeah. The governor's mansion. If you can't show me something to prove. I finally saved up enough. We purchased the cook outfit. So let's go... See if we can get rid of the cook. Oh, so you finally decided to show up, huh? Well, you can make yourself useful and start on the meat stew. The recipe's on the table. I'm going on my break. Don't let the customers touch anything. Especially not the grog. Diced onion. Okay, this imbued with the strength of Mojo to protect the town against dark magic, you will need these ingredients. Tender cut of meat. Yeah. 
happens if I just put it in there? The meat. Gotcha. Oh, what's that doing? Oh, shit! Hey, I told you not to start trouble. Get back in your cage. Dummies for the lot of you. What do I do with these? Oh, okay. I see. All right, let's go refill. Okay. 
Okay. What am I stealing from you? Oh, but you have the lighthouse key. Clock tower key, right. All right, cool. We're making progress now. Should be it. Oh, did I drop it whenever I put it away? That's like, I swear I had that sucker. Whoops! Final! Hey! I don't believe it! Freedom after all these years! Yes, freedom! Ah, the smell of the sea, the touch of the moonlight! We are free, Captain Coco! Mwah. Hooray! Now we can do all the things we ever dreamed of! Travel the world, see the pyramids! Open a furniture store! Well, I mean, not that. That's pretty silly, but we can start over, build new lives for ourselves. Like running a furniture store. Hey, enough with the furniture store! I didn't spend all that time locked up just to collect chairs. I want to have an adventure. And I want to sell nested mahogany tables at affordable prices. Hey, that's stupid. You're stupid. You know what? Fine. Stay here and have your stupid furniture store. Yes. I hope it makes. I can give that guy his body. I just, I really, I thought we were friends. Hey man, stuff happens, dude. Now let's do you first. Yes, it's all coming together now. We also need another arm. <gasps> oh, I wonder. Could I give... Thanks. Can I give this to the dog? I'll trade you. Don't be ridiculous. 
femur bone. It's not exactly what I needed. I need an arm. Right? Maybe it needs a femur bone too. Getting comfortable. Although, if this is about getting to Threepwood, I'm in. I've got a score to settle. But first, I'll need some kind of body. But not just any body. A magnificent body, worthy of bearing my terrifying demonic countenance on a new campaign of terror and destruction. <laughs> right. Don't you worry, I got your body. Hey, seeing all these ghostly guards gives me an evil idea. If you can get me a new body, I could pretend to be one of them and sneak you into Threepwood's place. What do you say? There's got to be a convenient corpse lying somewhere around here. Say, that body looks like a good fit for me. Why not let me take it for a test drive and I'll get you to Guybrush? Hmm. Nope. Can't get her started. Seems to be missing a few necessary parts. Let's see here. We just need to add a right arm and this body will be good as new. Make yourself useful and bring one to me. Then our deception can begin. Ah! Yes! I knew it. Come in, man. Ouch. I got your light arm. At last, my new reign of demonic terror can... Whoa. Oh, oh, easy. Ah, ah, easy now. It's uh, been a while since I had limbs to worry about. All right, here we go. I'm getting the hang of this. Let's get you into that mansion. What <laughs> did I unleash? Now, marvel at my mastery of impersonation. Okay. One of the governor's guards, I be. I be adoring the legend of Monkey Island so much, and, and, oh, forget it. <laughs> hey, wolves! Those gummies rot in your brain? Your shift doesn't start until midnight. Uh, of course I knew that. I just thought you might be uh, wanting to take an early break. No, not a chance. You know what the boss does to people who slack off. Come back after midnight.
There you go. Oh, it's gonna hurt. You in what the? Uh, well, the, the, I can't let you through because sorry, but until right, and your replacement's right here. at all costs no exceptions yeah yeah do I tell you how to do your job you okay Walt I sound weird oh uh, yeah, it's um the allergies you know from the poodles oh right stupid mutts almost took a bite out of me last week our diabolical scheme is working perfectly get up to the mansion and find Threepwood I'll keep watch. Thanks, Murray. It's good to have a body again. Everyone looks so short. Thanks, Murray. Must know why I'm here. It's my grandfather's map, isn't it? You want to find the treasure. Don't you see? You're the only treasure I need, Thunder Bunny. I'm here to rescue you. My hero. Oh, you're the greatest pirate who ever lived. Not so fast, you mutinous mud skipper. That's my bride to be. I don't think so. Hello? Go away, please. Not today, thank you. Important governatorial business going on. I told you no more autographs. Leave me alone. That's it. Would you be quiet? My wife is sleeping. Ah. Hey. Look, Lutikins, we have company. They must want to hear all about your courageous deeds. But honey pumpkin, I'm busy with my memoirs. I can't be disturbed or I'll miss my deadline. Now, now, we mustn't be rude. And look, they have a meet and greet ticket. Oh, all right. Welcome to the official Legend of Monkey Island meet and greet event. Your Hello. once in a lifetime chance to hear all the seafaring adventures of the mighty pirate Guybrush Threepwood. Straight from the legend himself. No food or drink permitted during the event. Please keep your hands and feet inside the mansion at all times. Okay. Trial and authorities are not responsible for any loss of property, injury, or death incurred during the presentation. The legend begins right here on Melee Island, on the day of my arrival. The pirate leaders immediately recognized my natural talents. And so did Governor Marley, who was instantly swept off her feet. Now, unfortunately, there was one pirate who refused to acknowledge my obvious greatness. The ghost pirate like Chuck who was also smitten with Elaine and spirited her away to the mysterious Monkey Island. Gathering a loyal crew and the finest ship available, I sailed in search of LeChuck's pirate lair. Having single-handedly concocted a powerful root beer to destroy ghost pirates, I cornered LeChuck and gave him the biggest spritzing of his afterlife. I kept the bottle. It's one of my most treasured possessions. Unfortunately, it's true what they say. You can't keep an undead, obsessive, vindictive, demonic sea scourge down. I had to tangle with LeChuck again before finally ridding the world of his evil once and for all. I returned to Monkey Island triumphant, married my beloved Elaine, and we set sail on our honeymoon. Then, uh, um, what well, then, um, uh, why can't I remember? And what was with that weird fog anyway? 
Did I? Uh, um, anyway, uh, once everyone learned of my heroic deeds, they insisted I become governor of Melee Island. And that concludes your premium meet and greet session. Cheers! Cheers. Thanks for stopping by. Yep. Mm. Oh, be sure to check out our exclusive merchandise. Yeah, we have gifts for for the whole family. Oh, and please leave quietly. My wife is very, very sleepy. Right. Eighty-five pieces. This is where you get rich. Right. Wakey, wakey. Jesus. Dude. Oh. Well, well. Shut your face. We here? An unwanted intrusion into my masterful delusion. What? Threepwood always was pathetically easy to manipulate. One side convinced him he was a mighty pirate hero. His raging ego made all this possible. So long as he believes he's the legend of Monkey Island, he'll never want to leave this place. And it's all thanks to this. Pirates on your precious sea of thieves practically tripped over themselves to deliver me this sword. Couldn't wait to help their beloved pirate lord. It's not about the gold. It's about the glory. Oh, the sea of thieves is such a special place. Where a sickeningly sweet story can last for all eternity. And once this burning blade is restored, those waters will be mine to rule as I see. <laughs> so you see, I really can't let you stand in my way. You talk too much. My skeletal shipmates have gotten mighty restless keeping watch on three. I'm sure they'll take good care of you while I set sail for Monkey Island. <laughs> now wait a minute. Hold on. Right. Right! All right! Come on! You'll pay for interfering! Get out of here! Who else?
That's it. Three foot, wake your ass up. Right. Get them, Captain Orders. I repeat. Who else? You. Thanks to you, the Chuck has withdrawn, and Rootbeer has rid this place of his evil influence. Right. The power of Mojo can return at last. We have much to discuss, but I sense you may have unfinished business here on Mele Island. When you are ready to depart, return to me here. I shall be waiting. The Concise History of Melee Island by S. Cartman. <laughs> Foundations. Along with its sibling settlements on Booty and Plunder Island, Melee Island forms one of the cornerstones of the Tri Island area, founded by the auspicious Marley family. Much of the island's prosperity can be attributed to tourism, which is bolstered by the presence of the Marley family home on the coast. This luxurious estate has long served as the headquarters from which the Marley lineage has governed the region. Local geography. Much of the island's natural beauty can be attributed to its high central peak and large bay. Though it is hardly large enough to be considered more than a promen uh, promontory. The diminutive Hook Island lies just off the coast. As part of a thriving port town, the Scum Bar is considered to be the most popular and prestigious man-made structure on Melee and a common destination for passing narrow duels. Most of the island remains covered by dense natural forest and it is in these isolated regions that many retired mercenaries have made their home. Island customs, the proliferation of pirates soon led to the emergence of a council of sorts presiding over seafaring affairs in tandem with the governor. These pirate leaders would administer three trials by way of piratical initiation with fine garments bestowed upon the lucky few who succeeded. Mindful of the threat posed by cursed gold, the Marleys instigated an economy based on silver pieces of eight, which remains the currency of choice across the Tri-Island area. Insult sword fighting is a common pastime in the region, and mastering its in intricity, in intricacies is essential when attempting the three trials. Change of leader. After the disappearance of Governor Horatio Marley, his granddaughter Elaine took over in his stead, and remained unopposed for several elections. 
After several vexing encounters with would-be suitors, Marley recruited a sheriff. At his say-so, a lookout was assigned to keep watch for known troublemakers. Security at the mansion was enhanced via the acquisitions of several ferocious piranha poodles, whose hostility was enough to keep all but the most courageous visitors at bay. Since these hounds were susceptible to the soporific effects of local flora, picking the forest flowers became a criminal offense. Legend of Monkey Island, the Marley family home, Governor Elaine Marley, and the ghost pirate, the shock. Historic day. A historic day. The history of Malay Island simply cannot be chronicled without discussing the heroic exploits of its current governor. Guybrush Threepwood, known far and wide as the legend of Monkey Island, is both the current incumbent and inspiration to pirates everywhere. Indeed, the prosperity of Malay was ensured the day Guybrush Threepwood made his imposing presence known to all. With his graceful combat skills, effortlessly sharp wits, and natural bravery, Threepwood made quick work of the three trials, winning the hearts and minds of Melee's residents in the process. A vengeful attack, infuriated by Threepwood's rise to fame, the notorious ghost pirate LeChuck returned to Melee Island, kidnapping Governor Marley in an unprovoked assault. Though pirates clamored to join his crew, Guybrush boldly set out alone on a mighty galleon, to rescue his beloved Elaine. Threepwood sailed to the fabled Monkey Island and ventured deep underground where LeChuck and his crew were in hiding. Fearing his inevitable defeat, LeChuck fled back to Melee Island where he was cornered and defeated by Guybrush in a sportsman-like sportsman -like bout of fisticuffs. New Horizons, though his reputation as the legend of Monkey Island was secure and his position as governor of Melee secured in a landslide election, the spirit of adventure soon called to Guybrush once again. He vowed to return with the myth mythical treasure of Big Whoop, a quest that encompassed most of the Tri Island region. Reapwood's heroic endeavors were once again treated or threatened, threatened by LeChuck, who had been resurrected as a zombie by his loyal first mate. Thanks to some unparalleled quick thinking and guile, Guybrush emerged triumphant once more. Though the confrontation had separated him from his beloved Elaine. Perfect marriage. Naturally, Guybrush wasted no time in tracing Elaine's whereabouts, proposing to her with a diamond ring acquired from a band of nefarious smugglers. The two were married at last, although Guybrush nobly chose to delay their honeymoon so that he could swiftly resume his civic duties on Melee. No one can deny that Melee Island, Island has entered a golden era overseen by Governor Guybrush and his loyal guards. The future of the Tri-Island area is bright indeed, and it's all thanks to the legend of Monkey Island, the mightiest pirate in history. The Concise History of Monkey Island. Coming soon, publication date, uh, whenever the author gets rescued. 